Hey, Mark Gutman from Wild Story here, and uh, I want to talk to you about something interesting today. I've uh, been really getting excited about different brands and different ways that we can break them down and use them as examples of what to do and what not to do. And so today, what I'd like to talk to you about is shoes. So this is a pair of Clarks, and uh, many of you might know them. Uh, they are a real famous brand. They've been around a long time. We'll get, along, we'll get into like how long they've been around. But you know, probably one of their most iconic and famous uh, boot designs in all of America and all of the world, it's actually a British company, and it's called the Desert Boot. And for the longest, longest time, I've always wanted a pair of these boots, and I have no idea why. I don't know if I've seen them on people. I do have a vague recollection. I was in Africa about 10 years ago, and uh, all the safari guides were wearing the suede version of these. And uh, it was just something that I've always coveted and I always wanted. So I finally uh, got up the uh, sort of, I don't know if it was the gumption or what, but I decided I was going to get myself a pair of Clarks. And so I walk into... Uh, the, the Clark's store at our local mall here in Colorado, and I am not sure where I'm at. Um, you know, I walk in and uh, we have some pictures here of some, of some Clark's, and I, I walk in and it could have been any store. It could have been the walking company. It could have been anything. And I was completely flabbergasted by the experience. I didn't know uh, what to make of it. I didn't really know who Clark's as a brand was, and I really wasn't sure if they were for me because uh, what we always like to say here at Wild Story is that uh, as a brand, we like to tell the world who we are so our customers know who they are. And as I walked in, uh, and you'll see some of these pictures here, um, I didn't really know what kind of store it was. And I came back later and I, and I photographed this, and it was really, really interesting in that the brand has this tagline, the world is ours to explore, right? So you get a sense that maybe this is an explorer brand. Maybe they're all about giving people that feeling, uh, that transformation, transporting them. So even though maybe I'm not exploring the world right now, because I'm not, I'm in the office, maybe that's what I feel like when I wear a pair of Clarks. But the problem with this is, as you'll see, is this imagery is just incongruent with this idea of exploration. It's like these models that are wearing like Pendleton blankets and flannels and they're not really exploring. And so I went to the website and I wanted to go see what Clark's was all about. I wanted to learn more about Clark's. And so if you go to the website today, you'll see, I don't know what this is. Like they've got uh, an ad for some sort of tie-in with the blank Black Panther movie. So, all right. They've also got this weird uh, photography about, uh, and I'm not sure what you even call this, it's that you know, silks where you hang and you do acrobatic silk type work. And I'm like thinking, huh? And I, you know, and I just don't know who Clark's is. And so you know, they're already confusing me as a customer and you know, we also like to say a confused customer never buys. So I'm not sure who this brand is for. I'm not sure um, what they're all about. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting really confused. And, and then I get home and I'm really excited to wear my Clarks because they're still really awesome shoes. They're just a really simple, cool, classic boot. And I get home and I unwrap the box and there's tissue and all sorts of stuff. And at the very bottom, of the box is this little folded piece of paper that says the story unfolds. And I'm like, wow, what a cool little artifact. So I open it up. <clears throat> okay, and on one side they have all this artwork and it's old, it feels like old paper and on the back's a letter, okay? And so right away, for the first time, I'm connecting to the brand in this artifact here. And what you'll see is on the back of this artifact is they have the original letter from the founder of Clark's um, 
talking about the desert boot. And he says, why, I was still in Burma on the staff of a West African brigade. Bancroft asked me to think up of any useful shoes which might have origins in the area. And he goes on to describe that uh, there was this desert boot and, and what a great idea this might be. And there's some handwriting and all sorts of stuff. So instantly, I'm able to insert myself into this story. And this, for the very first time, is where the brand feels authentic, where I'm really able to connect and, and put myself in, in this story. And I start to think of, you know, this person who is in, uh, you know, Burma and they're, they're in the West African Brigade and they're, and they're experience all the, experiencing all this stuff. So I get really excited and then I turn it over to this side, okay? And on this side, oh my gosh, they have 19 into one, uh, the 19 steps that go into their, their brand. So, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, you know, how you do something is part of your story. They put in their process. They get uh, soul to soul. They start talking about the materials. Nathan Clark is the original. So they're all about being an original. Yet when you go to their retail experience, when you go to their store, they're all about following. I think the pop-up on their website was some dude in a canoe. Get out and explore, but there's nothing about that. And so they show the pure form and the purity of the brand. And, and this is really, really cool. And I'll make sure that we have a picture of this so you can read this. But, um, and, and there's a bunch of the history of Clark's. And so my problem with Clark's is that they've really lost the essence of what makes them a great brand. And it was really this history and this story about how they came up and they were on adventure. They're, they're an explorer type brand and everything that we do when we experience this brand should take us to a faraway place. You know, right now, Clark's is a bit of a, what I call a Franken brand, you know, it's like they've got this great backstory. They've got uh, this great product, right? They've got a great process but they don't have a really good way of expressing that in an inauthentic way. And I think they're probably really stuck right now how to appeal to uh, younger buyers, how to stay relevant. But I would urge them that the secret is all right here. This is the answer of how to stay relevant. And so one of the things we talk about in our process, the first thing we really get into a lot of times with brands is talking about the backstory. And the backstory is, is everything. It's all about the origin of your business. Now that backstory, you know, has different uh, relevance and different weights in terms of how much it's going to play into your um, story. But um, for, for Clark's, I think that they really, really need to harness what made them great, which was this idea of um, innovation, originality, but first and foremost, about being an adventure brand. And I think that, you know, some ideas where we could see this is they should be out there integrating themselves with the explore adventure lifestyle, not just putting pictures, but perhaps sponsoring events, getting out there and doing brand expressions where they're showing that, you know, maybe do some collaborations with some big adventure companies. Um, you know, the other thing they can do in a company that I think does this amazing is Patagonia that you know, Patagonia wears their beliefs on their sleeves and they use their company as a way to align their beliefs about adventure, about protecting the environment with their brand. And I, I, I know not all brands are ready to go as extreme as Patagonia, but I think what Clark's could really do here is they could start publishing uh, adventure type articles. They could, you know, be a publishing house of sorts and really be a sponsor, a foster, a um, uh, what am I looking for? What's that word? Uh, when, in the old times when people used to, uh, a patron, a patron of adventure and really getting out there and, and expressing themselves. They could also align with adventure TV shows uh, or online content or offline content. And I just think that they have a real opportunity to uh, keep this brand going and reviving it. But right now they're really missing the mark. So um, I hope that made sense. I hope that was helpful. Um, here is a great example of 
an artifact that you can use to tell your story. Uh, another brand that I will talk about later that does this awesome as well as Warby Parker. So they're next up. So if there's any brands that you would uh, like me to discuss, if there's any ideas you have or any questions around brand storytelling that you'd like to d dive into deeper, uh, please leave your comments below. Let me know. Happy to uh, answer any specific questions and or talk about any other brands in the future.